but that's that's the name of their company see here's the thing it could go it's an extreme is what it is it could go both ways right so either it's a horrible idea that you set your business up to fail by putting like it into the atmosphere of hey this is a terrible idea right Uh or it's a completely genius idea because they know Mm -hmm. that hey (laughs) this is gonna be awesome with some of the people who won't do the research yeah so i like that framing Mm -hmm. i really do all right um but with without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into it before we make our transition hello to everyone who's tuning in live um right now we're going to jump into reviewing our deal of the day Mm -hmm. which is bad idea so let me go ahead and share now <laughs> all right so this is actually the first time we're doing this live oh yeah, yeah. reviewing a deal together yeah. with others watching but i think i think we're going to do a lot more of this and we really want to help others one see our process and how we just think about reviewing deals but then also our community can submit deals that they're looking at or that they want us to provide our thoughts around. Of course, none of this is investment advice. Everyone should know all investments involve risks and you should not invest more than you're willing to lose. Mm-hmm. With that disclosure being said, <laughs> be free. Free gems from Gary. <laughs> free gems from Gary. I like it. That was free. That was free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, as another disclaimer with these, right? I always like to say that breakfast is the bre- well, feedback is the breakfast of champions. Oh, got that from Jim Quick. So yeah. if you do like this, if you do enjoy the content, let us know. We Absolutely. shall do more. Absolutely. Can you say that one more time, please? Yes. That feedback mm. is the breakfast of champions. Mm. So if you like the content, you like what we're doing over here, say so. Or we we live to serve over here, don't we? We do live to serve. Truth and service <laughs> is how we roll at Bison mm-hmm. Venture Partners. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I love that. Yeah, I've I've heard that feedback is a gift. Mm-hmm. That's that's my favorite one to use. So it is the holidays, and we appreciate all gifts that are sent our way. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So B, this is bad idea. Okay. The company is called Bad Idea. They're raising on WeFunder. Mm-hmm. And on WeFunder, anyone can invest in startups and small businesses. So as you know, we recently, uh, just at the end of this year, closed our first community round. We raised on WeFunder as Bison Venture Partners. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And anyone could invest for as little as $100. <laughs> so uh, we also use these platforms to build our own uh, personal investment portfolios, right? So uh, we're taking time just to review different deals that we find that we think are interesting. This is not um, an advertisement for this company, right? We're just simply providing our thoughts um, and providing just some guidance on how maybe you can review deals moving forward. So there's a chance that, you know, we don't even invest in this company, but we'd like to look and see what's out there. Got you. Gary, do you mind if I play the role as a entry level investor not knowing what to do (laughs) perfect yes please (laughs) cool so what i would need from you sir what are the first like key things if you had to give people like three to five things to look at when they first look at a deal what would it be yeah great question so this is a campaign page right so pretty much every investment campaign literally every investment campaign that is on WeFunder or any other website like Republic or Start Engine is going to be laid out in this way. Mm-hmm. And the company is required to provide you with certain information so that you can make an informed decision on whether or not you should invest. So that being said, um, typically when you land on a campaign, you're going to see this big graphic here. And most campaigns are actually going to place a video where the video is going to be like a a pitch from the founder, like introducing themselves, walking through their pitch deck, right? And and giving you some context about the business. Um, And then you can start to scroll from there and learn more information. But typically I'm looking for the video first. And this company actually does not have a video. Mm -hmm. It just has this graphic here. So 
That's one thing that's a bit off to me, <laughs> right? That's off to me, <laughs> but <laughs> already over one for bad idea. <laughs> but they've they've already redeemed themselves because. Yeah. On the right side, you see how much they've raised, right? Like that's mm -hmm. typically what you're what you're really looking for. Next, okay. one right, and they've raised four hundred forty eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars yeah. from some number of people, mm -hmm. right? Um, that is a number that that I'm looking at, right? I want to see how much have they raised to date, and if they've raised a significant amount, which this is absolutely a significant amount, mm -hmm. that tells me that okay people are interested in this deal and maybe I should learn more. Like, what am I missing? Right. Yeah. Um, if the company had like $1,000 committed to their round, I wouldn't be as compelled to keep searching. Right. But when I see a big number like this, a big amount that's been raised already, I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, cool. They raised this amount. They're very close to their goal. Um, <clears throat> and they are closing soon. So they're actually closing this campaign on December 23rd. Yeah. So you see this sort of um, this countdown. So it's like, all right, I have eight days to make my decision on whether or not I want to invest in this company. So um, I look for I look for that for sure. Okay. Next thing I'm looking at, um, typically, it will tell you how many investors have helped them raise this amount. Uh, okay. It does not show that here. Mm -hmm. And that might be because this countdown ticker has popped up, right? This this doesn't show all the time. This only shows when there's like maybe 10 days left on the campaign. Got it. So I am curious to know how many investors they have because I'm a, I would assume it's it's a lot of people, but mm -hmm. sometimes you'll see you'll see a company that's raised a bunch of money and they've raised it from like 12 people. And then you're like, oh, okay, they've got like significant like angel investors, like wealthy individuals putting up a lot of money or maybe some kind of like institutional backing that's counted. Mm -hmm. But if it's, if they've raised this much money from like small dollar investors, if it was like they raised this from a thousand people or whatever, yeah. um, I would be like, okay, like they have a solid community or they're really good at marketing. I don't know what it is just yet, but they're yeah. really good at telling their story and getting people to buy in. Okay. With that being said, which one gives you more of the feel good that <laughs> this is a good deal to invest in, right? Is it a bunch of money through a small number of people? Is it a bunch of money through a large number of people? What I like, you feel I, more I, comfortable with? I like these platforms because they give power to the people, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you can, you can tap your community to be an investor in your success. So yeah. I prefer to see a large amount raised from a large amount of people got it um but you know if they've if the company has raised a lot of money from a small number of people like look at who those investors are right like look yeah. at their credibility look at their background like you can actually this is basically a social platform and you can actually see who their lead investor is if you scroll down here on mm -hmm. the right side All right so this person here see invested two hundred thousand in this round so this is one person yeah. saying they believe in this company that much. Mm. So that, that gives me some, mm. some thoughts. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I <was about> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, it's not necessarily going to make me be like, okay, I have to be in, yeah. but I'm like, wow, if this person is willing to put in that much money. First of all, who is this person? What do yeah. they do? Yeah. And then, um, but then, yeah, let me, let me learn some more because if they're willing to part with that much money, they, they must see something uh, that tells them that this could be a lucrative endeavor. Yeah. Now, um, everybody the, needs an Edward in their life. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yes, yeah, sir. Edward, if you are watching this, we would love to have a word <laughs> as well. <I> <laughs> we would be willing to open another investment round if you'd be willing to lead. For Bison Venture Partners. Hey, um, don't say we right. didn't ask. <laughs> no, you can't say that. So, okay. So another thing, and, and really where I'm at now is like, I want to know what the terms are, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here drinking my, my coffee from BVP Coffee Co. Hey. You know, it's, it's, it's late at night, but I'm drinking the Bison Breakfast Blend. Okay. Signature roast, premium roasted, fresh. 
to order delivered Ooh. straight to your door. Let them know. You know, brief commercial break. <laughs> but, you know, the mug says pay me in equity. Purchased one myself. And we appreciate your patronage, my brother. Yeah, you got to pay you me in equity. Your own, man. Got to support your own. Now, you know, for all of our Bison Venture partners, investors tuning in, every mug we sell is contributing to your return on investment. So if you haven't gotten one, get yours and spread the word. But that being said, that's the motto, right? Pay me in equity. So yeah. I am looking for deals where I can own equity in the business for the most part. But then you may also see deals where you can um, you can basically lend money to the company through debt, right? Okay. So you don't get equity, you don't get ownership in the business, but the company's going to pay you back, um, you know, some amount. We we have to look at the specifics of the terms, mm -hmm. but there is a return on investment to be expected. So when I look at the terms, uh, this one has a bit of a complex situation here. Usually it'll just say, this company is raising on a safe, which is a simple agreement for future equity. Yeah. That's very popular for technology startups. Um, other technology startups might raise using a priced round, which just means that they are selling equity in their business. They've set a valuation and you can buy shares in the business. Then when you get to small businesses, um, more traditional businesses, I should say, right? Um, such as this wine bar, you'll see more things like uh, the debt rounds, mm -hmm. right? So you'll either see things like a uh, a loan, right? A traditional loan where they're expected to pay you back the principal, which is however much you put in, plus uh, interest, right? Mm -hmm. And they're gonna set the interest rate. Or there are revenue share loans. So we actually raise on a revenue share loan, which means every time the company uh, earns revenue, a percentage of that revenue goes towards repaying investors until they make some investment multiple back. Or you can see something like this, which I've actually not seen on WeFunder before. So this is new to me. Um, you can do a profit share. Mm. So what Bad Idea is doing is they're offering class A units at a purchase price of $1 a unit mm -hmm. and unit holders or investors will receive 75% of company net profits until their original investment is recouped. And then from there, class A unit holders or investors mm -hmm. thereafter will receive 25% of net profits in perpetuity. I am liking this. Yeah. <laughs> I would you like to break down what perpetuity means for the people perpetuity man listen <laughs> perpetuity to me that that sounds like keep it coming yeah keep it coming so um the company has has formed a contract right they've written this mm -hmm. custom contract for this investment round and they said all right if you want to invest in us here's what you can get mm -hmm. you can purchase units right investment or ownership units mm -hmm. in the business. When you own a unit, uh, this is what we owe you. So 75% of net profits. All right. So the company has to go out, execute on its business model, mm -hmm. make a profit from that profit. 75% of the net profits, um, are going to go towards repaying investors. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you invested the minimum, which is a hundred dollars here, um, the company is going to continue to operate its business until you get paid back your $100. Mm. Let's say that takes three years. Let's say it takes three years. I'm making up a number, but let's say it takes three years. Okay. Cool. Okay. So the company has paid you back your $100. Great. All right. I put some money in. I got it back. That's cool. Mm -hmm. but where's the fun in that? You know, like, where's the growth? Where's <laughs> I want more. I want some more, you know, mm -hmm. I got bills. I got a phone bill. I got rent to pay. I got people to pay. Come on. Thank we got to make some more money here. So bad idea is saying, all right, after we pay our invest, repay our investors, 
right, what they put in, investors will continue to uh, earn a return on their investment um, through 25% of their net profit. So, so long as the business is operating their, mm -hmm. their company, 25% uh, of their net profits are going to go towards paying their investors, sort of like a dividend. So under that, it says investor perks and it has different types of K's. Mm. What does that mean? All right. This is what we call sweetening the pot. <laughs> this is what we call sweetening the pot. So I want to say this. This is an investment. Okay. So, you know, the perks are <laughs> return on investment, right? That's the main perk. Correct. But through these platforms, you can add other things that sweeten the pot, make people want to invest larger amounts of money. So even though the minimum is $100, the company really wants you to invest more than that, right? So they, they set some perks to get you to invest a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, I think you just have to hover over it. Let's see. About to say, what kind of perk is old Edward getting down there for the two? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, I thought it showed it before. Maybe not. Is that not it right Remember there? The content? Or is that just... No. It looks like it's saying the same thing. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so it looks like you just have to hover over a specific part. But, okay, if you invest $1,000... You get an invitation to soft opening events. So we really haven't even we haven't even gotten into what this business is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're just looking at we're, uh, right now we're it's really... wine and food. Yeah, and... we know it's a wine bar. <laughs> They're doing perpetuity, and Edward's the man is what we That's know. Right. So far. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's all we know right now. And if you are interested in investing more than the minimum, you can see. Okay, if I invest a thousand dollars, I get invited mm -hmm. to the so soft opening that they're going to have. If I invest 2,500, I'm on the VIP reservation list, 5,000 priority access to all events, 10,000 all perks above, plus a dinner for four people, alcohol excluded. Yo, <laughs> I'm dropping 10 bands and I can't even get alcohol. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like not a bottle, just a bottle, <laughs> just one bottle. What do you mean alcohol okay. excluded? Like just say you like you, it won't be unlimited alcohol, but we can hit you <laughs> with one or two bottles real quick. Like, who, uh, right. <laughs> we ain't going to leave you yeah. starving. It is a wine bar. But um, anyway, so yeah. So, all right. So the, the, that's all the, those are the sort of the investment highlights Okay. Um, on the right side there. That's like, you want to look at how much they've raised. What's the minimum? What are the terms? Of course, like that's the most important thing. What are the terms? Gotcha. And then. Um, another thing I'm, I'm going to highlight just as we, uh, we're going to speed through this a little bit, mm -hmm. but, um, for this company to make this raise official, they have to file their documents with the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, right? They have to make this an official solicitation of investments yeah. and they are certifying that everything that they're telling you about this business is the truth. And that they are not um, doing anything illegal. Uh, they're not giving you financial information that's not accurate. And um, they're on the hook to repay you as an investor. Yeah. Right. So, what I look for here, right, th this line here, this sort of menu is this is like the different parts of the campaign that include different sort of types of information. So the overview is where you start. They're gonna give you some highlights just about the company, like this one saying, okay, the, the founder is owned and operated, a former, or the founder uh, was a former wine director of Bastion and Henry, Henrietta Red. Mm -hmm. I don't know what those are, but I'm assuming if you're in wine, where even are they? East Nashville or into wine, yeah, you know what those things are. Yep. Um, but yeah, typically they're going to give you some high level stats that get you excited. You're like, oh my goodness, they, they know what they're doing. Right. Yep. Um, but then as you scroll, you just get to learn more about the story. So I am looking for pictures, right? I do want to see like who's behind this, right? How is, how are their marketing materials? Mm -hmm. Um, so the founder, Alex Birch is, is talking all about themselves and 
then you'll also see sort of their pitch deck, right? So they're starting to tell you what is this business? So this business is about celebrating wine exploration and education and bad idea boasts an eclectic and lively wine selection complemented by fresh and inventive fare. Okay, cool. Um, but anyway, you keep scrolling, see all about what they're doing. They're giving you their menu here. And to be honest with you, I'm looking for like a pitch deck. This isn't exactly a pitch deck, yeah. right? Uh, where they talk about like their marketing strategy and all that kind of stuff. It might be in here, but the format is a little different. They're giving you their for floor plan, right? Like the, um, this looks like some kind of like rendering yeah. of what the space is going to look like, mm -hmm. which is cool. This is all cool, but I would have to do some deeper digging just to see, okay, how is this going to work? But looking at the floor plan, I'm like, this is a big space. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. They give you their financial projections, which are very important. Mm -hmm. And um, it is a restaurant type of thing. So yeah. it is expensive to operate. It looks like, I mean, total expenses are coming in at almost 1.5 million. It's a hefty amount. <laughs> hefty amount. But anyway, all right. So I look, I look for all of that. Um, but I want to share this one last piece. What I'm really looking for, um, before taking this campaign seriously, mm -hmm. is making sure that this menu here, this um, horizontal menu, yep. has the details section. If it has the details section, that means that they have provided their financials. On the back end, they had to upload their gap financials, their sort of high level financial overview, right? Mm -hmm. The performance of their business to date. Yep. If they've not submitted their financials, that means they've not filed their official paperwork. So this raise is not an official raise if it doesn't include what I'm currently showing on the screen. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we can see their financials. So they have done that. Great. However, we can clearly see this is a brand new business, yeah. or at least, you know, the story is telling us it's a brand new business. It looks like they started it in 2021 and, um, they've already started sort of raising some money mm -hmm. and operating something, right? We don't know what their expenses are right now, but it's a startup. It has startup costs. We get that. But I want to look at this. When I land on a campaign, I want to see their financials. And I'm looking, I'm looking for this first one here. I'm looking for revenue right now. That's what I'm that's what I'm really focused on. Like if it's focused a profit cash share, flow. yes, we're talking yeah. about cash flow. If we're talking about if you're saying you're gonna pay me back through a profit share or through a revenue share, yeah. where's the revenue? That's what I'm mm -hmm. looking for. So right now this one has none, right? But it's a startup. So that is a another risk you have to analyze for yourself but mm -hmm. that's what i'm looking for okay yes sir gotcha so after you've checked these points where are you going next with it oh man there's so much we're gonna have to cover this in another episode <laughs> but um i mean stay tuned yeah stay tuned <laughs> look at i i skip past what people say typically yeah. what people say are like testimonials from people that they know and love them mm -hmm. and those are great those do help um founders raise but no, mm -hmm. I know that's all going to be positive stuff. I want to go to the ask a question Ooh, section, the Q&A. <laughs> yes. I want to see what are people asking? Because they're asking questions that I haven't even thought of yet. Yeah. And one, I'm like, oh, that's a good question. I want to know, I want to know the answer, but I mm -hmm. also want to see how the founder answers the question. Mm. Sometimes you'll see people respond in like a, an aggressive way. Yeah. And I don't like that. I, I want to, you know, I want to invest in nice people. I want to invest in people <laughs> that treat other people nicely. And even if, yeah. look, we just raised, we had questions, but you, know, you can't, <laughs> you can't come on here acting a fool. Right. Cause that's why don't you like my idea? <laughs> I, <laughs> right. If you see them talking about, oh, well just keep your money then, you know, that's, that's not how you should go about this. Uh, but no, I, I look at all of that stuff. So there's a lot of information to, to think about. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, from where I'm, what I've seen so far, I'm like, this is, this seems cool. I want to learn more about the business itself. Mm -hmm. I do like the idea of the the terms. Um, so I want to do some, some more digging. Yeah. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with bad idea. So bad idea is a decent idea. <laughs> <laughs> I will say shout out to bad idea for the dope marketing. I think they're, they're opening 
image is very enticing and attractive. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I love the fact that they have a custom contract. They didn't mm-hmm. just take sort of what WeFunder has to offer, mm-hmm. right? They came up with a profit share agreement. I think that's pretty cool. So again, mm-hmm. I want to learn more. This is not an endorsement, a recommendation to invest in it. But if you want to check it out, wefunder.com slash bad idea. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We will be back live next week, Thursday, from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time around the herd. Be sure to visit www.bb.partners to join our newsletter and to stay up to date with all of the amazing things we have in store.